Welcome back to the Daily Bread Homestead. I am going to show you how to dissect a synthetic frog. These are the leg bones and ribs. This is the heart. This is the stomach. This is the brain and eyes. These are the bones called the torso. Here are the lungs. This is the frog's jaw and skull. This is the box that it came in. It came with two powder refill packets. It was really hard to get it out, so I asked for my mom's help. This kit comes with a scalpel and a probe, and nothing is sharp. There was three layers to take off, so I asked for my mom's help. See that hard plastic we're peeling off? You want to save that for next time. You can remake the frog when you're all done. The frog feels cold and slimy. Okay, I'm ready for my first cut. I cut down the middle ventral side of the frog. My first cut went from the jawline to the tail end of the frog. Please get your hand off my frog. This was fun for me. Are you having fun yet? Frogs are amphibians. Frog skin is very important. Their skin absorbs water, so they don't ever need to drink out of their mouths. Their skin makes mucus. I'm working on getting the heart out. Frogs have very special hearts. Humans have four chambers in their heart, and frogs have three chambers in their hearts. It helped to take off the rib bones first. See that dark red part, that purplish? That is the liver. So here he's pointing to the right atrium, now the left atrium. And then he's, uh, the middle part, that small circle part, is a ventricle. The heart only has one ventricle. He's pointing to the liver right there, that darker purple part. And then running through it is that ventral abdominal vein. I'm getting the stomach out now. Frogs don't have teeth, so they swallow their prey whole. I'm 
getting the other side of the liver. It has the spleen, pancreas, and gallbladder. So this part has a lot on it. Right now he's pointing to the gallbladder. There's the mesentery. We're scraping off some of that gel, but that little part there is the spleen, and that darker part right there is the pancreas. Flip that piece over and you can see some reproductive stuff. There are fat bodies that are yellow, um, a little ovary in there, and an oviduct. That's the dorsal view. Next, I'm gonna take out the two lungs. I'm taking off the torso part of the skeleton. Now I'm going to dissect down to the brain and eyes. Frogs' brains are small. The biggest part of their brain works on the vision, mostly. These are the two eyes and the little brain. These are the olfactory bulbs. They help them to smell. After I was done, we made up a new frog inside of its mold and we made it for next time. Hope you had fun learning about frogs. Please subscribe for more homeschool fun.